I warmly welcome the opportunity to address such a distinguished group of journalists. As has been said, I almost didn't make it. Just last week, I was convicted in the city court of Albany, Georgia, for participating in a peaceful march protesting segregated conditions in that community. I decided on the basis of conscience not to pay the fine of $178, but to serve the jail sentence of 45 days. Just as I was about to get adjusted to my new home for 45 days, Reverend Abernathy and I were notified that some unknown donor had paid our fines and that we had to leave the jail. As the Atlanta Constitution suggested the other day, we have now reached a new landmark in race relations. We have witnessed persons being ejected from lunch counters during the sit-ins <laughs> and thrown into jails during the freedom rides. But for the first time, we witnessed persons being kicked out of jail. <laughs> Victor Hugo once said that that is nothing more powerful in all the world than an idea whose time has come. Anyone sensitive to the present moods in our nation must know that the time for racial justice has come.